Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.3 blood vessels. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 9.3 you need to describe the structure of arteries, capillaries and veins, state the function of capillaries and identify the main blood vessels of the heart, lungs and kidneys. For extended you also need to explain how the structures of arteries, veins and capillaries are related to their functions and identify the main blood vessels of the liver. Arteries carry high pressure blood away from the heart to the organs and tissues. They have thick muscular walls and a relatively narrow lumen. Arteries lead to smaller vessels called arterioles and arterioles split off into capillaries which form a network throughout the organs and tissues. The role of the capillaries is to facilitate the exchange of oxygen, carbon dioxide, food molecules and other substances between the blood and surrounding cells. Part of the blood plasma is forced through the walls of the capillaries and into the cells, while tissue fluid containing dissolved substances moves in the other direction. Capillaries have an extremely narrow lumen and their permeable walls are only one cell thick. Capillaries merge into venules and then the venules lead into veins which transport blood back to the heart. Veins have thinner walls and a wider lumen than arteries. They also contain pocket valves to prevent the backflow of low pressure blood. Next, you need to identify in diagrams and images the main blood vessels that lead to and from the heart, lungs and kidneys. The main blood vessels of the heart and lungs are the vena cava, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein and aorta. So deoxygenated blood flows into the right atrium through the vena cava. The blood moves down into the right ventricle, into the pulmonary artery and off to the lungs. Oxygenated blood from the lungs flows through the pulmonary vein and into the left atrium. It then moves down into the left ventricle, which contracts, forcing it into the aorta and off to the body's tissues. Each kidney receives blood from a renal artery. When the blood has been filtered, which we'll cover in chapter 13, it's returned to the vena cava through the renal vein. Okay, so that's everything for the core section, but for extended, you also need to know how the structures of arteries, veins, and capillaries are related to their functions. So arteries have thick muscular walls with elastic fibers and fibrous tissue. This helps to maintain the waves of pressure generated by the heart and prevents damage to the walls and the vessels from bursting. They have a relatively narrow narrow lumen which helps to maintain high pressures and don't have valves as they're close to the heart meaning pressure is sufficient to prevent backflow. Veins carry blood at low pressures and therefore have much thinner walls with less muscle and fewer elastic fibers. They have a large lumen which lowers resistance and allows the blood to flow more easily. They also contain valves as blood pressure is insufficient to prevent backflow. Capillaries have extremely thin permeable walls made of a single layer of cells. This reduces the diffusion distance for gases, soluble nutrient particles, blood plasma and tissue fluid which move into and out of the blood with ease. Capillaries have a very narrow lumen which slows down blood cells to facilitate the diffusion of materials and don't have valves as pressure is still high enough to prevent backflow. Finally you need to identify the main blood vessels to and from the liver. Blood flows into the liver through two vessels. The hepatic artery carries oxygenated blood from the aorta while the hepatic portal vein delivers blood rich in nutrient molecules from the stomach and small intestines. The hepatic vein then returns deoxygenated blood from the liver to the vena cava. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.3 blood vessels. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 9.4 on the blood.